when I was diagnosed with cancer, I quite frankly didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, I always said, well, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, because of course I'd, I'd lost my father. Subsequently, I lost two brothers with cancer. And after talking to Dr. Freda, I decided that I wasn't going to go into Boston anyway, so I'd stay with Dr. Freda. I like the people here. They're very, very nice. It's wonderful quality medicine, and that's all I can ask for. I've got the, what I think is the best doctor oncologist I can possibly have. My name is Ron McKee. I live in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Thirteen and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and I've been under treatment since that date with Dr. Ralph Freda. It was a Sunday night, and we unfortunately had to go to a wake. None of my clothes fit me. They didn't even come close. What I had done is my body had swelled up almost 80 pounds. I decided then I think I better go to a doctor. I went to my primary care physician, and he wanted me to go get x-rays immediately. At that time, I had what they call a thorontesis. It's when they put a needle between your rib cage and go and draw the fluids around your lung because one of my lungs was collapsed. He came in the next day and informed me that I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And he said, what do you want to do? I didn't think I was going into Boston, but he suggested I talk to Dr. Fredo, which I did. At that time, my daughter came in and met Dr. Freda, and she left. She called me back about an hour later. She said, this guy is brilliant. He's a very fine doctor. He's got a PhD, obviously, with an MD. He's written several articles on cancer, and he's very well regarded. I decided then I would go with Dr. Freda. I have total confidence in the man, as does my wife and my family. I've actually been in remission, I think, for probably 13 years, 13 and a half years. I take a, a CRT every year now. I used to be taking them every six months. And I will continue right now with just the uh, gamma globulin to prevent any kind of an infection and stuff like that. My infusion nurse has been the same nurse that's done my um, infusion for 13 and a half years. Several of the members of his staff from Dana-Farber joined him. It's like old home week now. And I, I am really thrilled to see it. They're wonderful people, caring people. They know everything that's going on. When you're up, down, or sideways, they know it. And it's just a wonderful situation to find yourself in. Not that you have cancer, that's not a wonderful trip. But to have people around you like that that are supporting you so much, it's just wonderful. <laughs>